My name is Stuart Bray and I'm a prosthetic makeup artist. And I started on my 21st birthday, so I've been doing it 21 years now. I found out what prosthetics were after I was interested in monsters. For me as a kid, it was being interested in monsters. And because a lot of monster movies have people wearing makeups and prosthetics, it was that that I wanted. I wanted the monster. I wanted to be responsible for the, the creature. Because just as a kid, and I still am, I just think it's cool and I like that kind of thing. I have to say, actually, I think the best job I ever had, looking back, was probably Shaun of the Dead. The choice gags were things like um, the gag I was mainly responsible for was when Dylan Moran gets pulled through the, the pub window and torn into pieces. And I'm actually one of the zombies in there. On the left-hand side, I've got hair there and I wasn't wearing glasses, but uh, because I made the rig, it made sense that I would be the one that would open up the body and then there's like all these guts and tendrils and people would pull them and there were loops of, you know, about 20 feet of gut that would get stretched out and it was like a big cat's cradle that would open up in this crowd. So that was fun. And when Mary falls over backwards onto the, the pole and then she sort of sits up and then you see this hole in the middle of her stomach, which was a neat gag. I mean, I've seen it before in like, uh, I think Death Becomes Her when she's got a hole in her stomach. It, but it was quite nice because it, you weren't expecting to see that then, who's just a funny girl staggering around and then suddenly she's got this hole in her stomach. It's like, ah, you know, loads of little gags like that. Like the most tense part is like when you're doing a gag, like a blood gag or something, or something's gonna go bang, or, or it's got a spurt on cue. Once that's happened, then it's the best feeling in the world. A case in point would be something like on Game of Thrones, because you've got Maisie Williams, who's really cool. This is a horrible scene where she gets you know, punched in the stomach. He's got like these 10 year old girls and he's like beating them up, it's horrible. So that at the end of this, she's, she, she holds his head and she cuts his throat and it's like a big deal. So I'm sitting there, we've done the piece, we've put it on, we've rigged it up with the blood tubing, I've done the blood and, um, and I, I wasn't quite sure how much blood they wanted. I mean, I know how much blood they want, but it's like, yeah, but do you want like a spray or do you want it spurting or how do you want it? And uh, so I asked David Nutter, who's the director, and he said, Red Wedding, that's all he said. So I just really pumped it up really high and then she cut, went on cue, blood came out, he slumps down. And then I kind of look over at the monitors and everyone, and then the thumb comes up and there's just this wave of like, oh, it's done. Because there's so much blood, it takes at least half an hour to clean that up, reset. So it's, you don't want to be that guy. And they, they left this like the last shot. So if we had to reset, you know, everyone would hate me. <laughs> but it went fine, it was good. And it was like, oh! So, so moments like that, yeah, you go, oh, this is what it's all about. But the thing is for me, I enjoy the process. It's not a horrible slog until that point. There are parts of it that's hard and the hours might be long, but you've got to enjoy the process. This isn't a, a, an endurance test of how long you can endure horrible activity so that you get this priceless excitement at the end. It, it's it's got to be fun the whole way through. If it isn't, you're in the wrong job because understand there are people that do find what you're doing enjoyable and naturally they're the ones that are going to do it more and be better at it because for them it's not stressful to do. So I mean, that's the way it will be.